Hi, when you first open your Affinity software, and I'm in Publisher right now, you will see something that looks a bit like this. But what if you want to customize this workspace for you? So let's take a look at how we can make some changes to our workspace. So first of all, we have some stuff over here. I prefer to actually get rid of these windows over here and have just everything on one side. So that can be just as easy as dragging it to where you want or just closing them out. So I'm going to take this pages and I'm going to move it over here and just dock it here. And then I'm left with stock, which I can drag out and just click the X assets, drag it out, click the X. And now that side is gone. Now, what about this toolbar here on the side? We can actually make some changes to this as well. So if you go into view and go to the bottom where it says customize tools, then you will get all the different tools that you have available to move into this toolbar and you can drag them in or out. And here's something that I just discovered today. Did you know Affinity has a cat tool? Let's drop that in there and we will look at the cat tool in just a moment. Down here at the bottom, you see we have number of columns. If you worked in Adobe, you may have noticed that sometimes you have the ability to have two columns of tools here. Well, here you actually have the ability to do up to eight if you really wanted to. I'm thinking something like three or four might be nice. And then we can arrange maybe all of our text tools in one column. These are two of my frame tools and my image tools. So maybe I want to arrange those around. Get that out of there. Put this here. And maybe I want to put my shape tools all together. My zoom tool and my magnifier and my hand tool here. Come on. And we'll move this up here. All the photo stuff kind of next to each other. And transparency, fill tool, and color picker. I'll leave those all together. I want, let's actually make it four because I want to get this up with all the photo tools. So now I've got my text tools and I've got my color related tools. I've got some shape tools. I want to get this down here. Maybe if we add a shape in here. Okay, so let's just say that's how I want it and we're just going to close. So now I have all my text tools, my arrows are up here, and I've got stuff related to working with images. I've got my fill tool, transparency tool, and color picker grouped together. This is the data merge tool. If you don't want that, you can actually just get rid of that. And then we've got our shape tools. So let's take a look at that cat tool. You can actually draw a cat silhouette. I had no idea. I'm thinking this is like a little Easter egg that's maybe in the software. All right, let's move on. Okay, so let's take a look at this top area here. So one thing that's also useful is instead of customizing the tools, you want to customize the tool bar. So that gives us all the options that we can include up here. And you'll see there's some dotted lines where we have spaces to drag things. And we can also get rid of, oops, anything that we don't want to have up there. So by default, Affinity does not have this geometry section design, sorry, publisher does not have the geometry shortcuts, but designer does. And so I would like to put those up here because I use them a fair bit. I've already got my arrangement tools here. I use align quite a bit. So I might actually get rid of the single align and move the align that has all the features kind of showing. And then for distribute, I only use usually distribute to horizontal centers and distribute to vertical centers. That basically spaces things. So I will just put those on my toolbar. Snapping is already there. I use that a lot. And so that's kind of my main things that I want to have there. Now, here's another cool thing, especially if you're newer to the software. 
Down here it says show icon only, but you can actually switch this to icon and text. And now you'll see that it actually tells you what all these things are without having to hover over them. So that's a great way when you're learning the software to find the tools that you want by just turning on the labels for them. So when you have this all set up the way you want, just go into View, Studio Presets, and just add a preset. And just give it a name. And then now, if you ever open it and you're not seeing this view, you just go to View, Studio Presets, and click on your preset and it will return to this layout. So I hope that's helpful in customizing your workspace to only include the tools that you want and to organizing your tools here on the left a little bit better. Thank you for watching. And if you like these videos and you want to learn more about Affinity, please uh, consider subscribing. Thank you.